In this video, I would like to show you how to set up a melting curve analysis in the qPCR soft. A demo data file of the analysis function is also available on the setup CD. The melting curve analysis is used in assays, where intercalating dyes are used such as cyber green. It is needed to differentiate whether the reaction has caused the formation of a specific PCR product or whether unspecific byproducts such as primer dimers were produced. If so, the assay may need to be optimized. In the thermal cycler protocol, you see that a classical three-step protocol was applied and of course that the melting curve was activated. In the monitoring view, you can have a first glance on the melting curve results and already calculate the TM via this icon. And now we want to have a look on the melting curve analysis. Click on the melting curve tab and add a new melting curve analysis via this icon or the drop down menu. Enter a name in the window. Select a gene of interest from the drop down menu and the results of the melting curve will appear. The threshold will automatically be set by the software but can be adjusted manually by changing the value in the threshold box. For going back to the automatic threshold, you can use the icon in the toolbar. Below the graph, a variety of results are shown including the melting temperature and the standard deviation. You can also right-click on the header to add or remove analysis results information. By clicking to the well, you can change the arrangement of the results from column to row-wise and vice versa. In the tabs below, you can switch between the different depictions of the melting curves and they will show a graphical representation of the analysis results. Once the analysis is complete, the results can be exported in a number of ways. Right-click on the graph and click Copy Charge to copy the graph image or select Save Charge to save the CSV file, which will save the raw data of the fluorescence measurements. The results of the table can be exported to Excel via right-click on the table and select Saving of XLS or CSV file. For a more detailed export of the results, you can create a print report. For this, you either click onto the icon or via File and Print. On the left side, you choose the different information you want to have shown and then press Show Report. Then you will have all the different setup information and tables, which can then be directly printed or saved. And this brings me to the end of my tutorial on melting curve analysis.